G'day, my name is Ed Lineker. I created the Airdrop Irrigation System and uh, it's basically a response to uh, the devastating effects of drought. There's a big search for um, alternative sources of water and there's many technologies out there, desalinisation and even tapping into sacred water storage or ground reserves like the Artesian Basin, looking for water where there's just an abundant um, resource of water in the air that surrounds us. And um, even in the places, even in places like the Najiv Desert in Israel, which is one of the most, the, one of the driest deserts um, on the planet, there's a, a content of moisture in the air, and all you need to do is reduce that air down to a certain temperature, and you release that moisture. And there are water harvesting uh, technologies out there, but there's very few low-tech solutions. A low-tech solution is, is perfect for, for rural farmers, something that they can install, something that they can maintain themselves, and, um, and what it's doing is basically taking that water out of the air and irrigating their crops with that water, basically putting the water back into the roots of plants where it belongs and where it has evaporated from. And so that's exactly what airdrop irrigation does. It, it takes the water that's in the air, it feeds it through the network of, um, of uh, piping, and this, which has been developed over weeks and weeks of prototyping, is a really efficient means of creating water through the production of condensation. And so all that water then collects in an um, underground rainwater tank and is then pumped back through to the roots of plants via subsurface ir drip irrigation, which is a low pressure system for um, irrigating crops. And it's all very low tech. It doesn't need a specialised um, unit to come and install it. It's easy to install, simply like installing a rainwater tank. And then that's what I wanted. I wanted farmers to be able to, to install this themselves. So, you know, they didn't have to get anybody out, and especially for maintenance. The whole thing has been designed so you can deconstruct it for maintenance while it's still in the ground and uh, you can um, build it back again after you've repaired it. Uh, the one that I made in the backyard at Mum's house uh, was creating about a litre of water in, in a day and that was a very small scaled down system but I proved the concept works and um, therefore then it can be implemented on large scales for large you know, agricultural use.